Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I am so hungry right now, I cannot gather my words. But it's lunchtime, we're gonna make a tuna wrap. I don't know why I had to think about that, but we're gonna make a tuna wrap. First for the tuna, I like to start in a Tupperware container because with the way I make it, it makes, it makes at least like two gigantic sandwiches. But I like to keep it in Tupperware just so that you could throw it in the fridge when you're done with it. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of just some whole milk yogurt. If you had mayonnaise, you can do two tablespoons of mayonnaise. Next, I like to add a teaspoon of something spicy. So I'm trying to use this up. This is Calabrian chili paste, but typically I would add like crushed red pepper flakes or even a diced up jalapeno, whatever you have works. Then we can add a heaping tablespoon of some dill relish. Make sure it is not sweet relish. Sweet relish is, well, obviously it's sweet but it just gives it a really off flavor. So make sure it's dill relish. And in a pickle, <laughs> in a pickle, this is a pickle, you could use a cut up pickle. Then I like to add the juice of half of a lemon. Then I like to add a couple tablespoons of some chopped cilantro, or in my case, scissored cilantro. Sometimes I just don't feel like breaking out a cutting board. And like I said, making extra dishes. I'm all about efficiency here. Then I like to give everything a nice little mix. So obviously you're gonna taste the cilantro, but sometimes I just like to kind of almost like muddle it, which is just pressing down on it and always scraping from the sides. Then I like to go in and add some black pepper. Now for the tuna, I'm gonna use some of the solid white albacore tuna. You could really use any tuna you want. But the reason I recommend this is because, well, like it says, solid white. It's not the, t once I open it, you guys will be able to see, but it is not the kind of tuna that looks like cat food. I feel like if you've had that kind of tuna and you don't like tuna, that's the reason. So not only is like the texture off, it just kind of like tastes weird. The flavor of it is absolutely disgusting. I, yeah, this is, I highly recommend this. It doesn't even have to be from this brand, any brand, but solid packed. Then we can take our same scraper and see what I mean how, Ugh. Once I get in there, you can see that it's it's flaky. It sticks together. It's not something that's just like a wet mush. I oh, I hate the other tuna. Absolutely hate it. I like to then just break it apart and make sure all of it becomes, I know everyone hates the word, but moist. You want to make sure that it's not dry. Dry tuna is, well, like anything else that's dry. It's just texturally not good. Who wants to eat dry food? Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I mean, this is always what my tuna looks like, give or take a few little extra things. But does this not look bomb? Like, look at this. Colorful, vibrant. Okay, now we can plate. But before we do that, you want to give this a little taste. So depending on what brand your tuna is and your relish and whatnot, it could be salty, could be needing salt. So give it a taste and see if you need to add salt. Mine, I just tasted it. It is perfect just the way it is, no salt needed. And trust me, you guys know I know flavor. So if it needed salt, I would add some. Okay, so it's a tuna wrap, but it's my tuna wrap. So of course we're gonna do things a little bit differently here. I have, these are small, these are like taco size. So if you had a big tortilla, then you could use the same thing. Just maybe one of them instead of two. I don't know, do whatever your heart desires. I have two of these, we're gonna place them well, that looks like a booty, but we're gonna place it just like that. Then I have half of an avocado. So either smash or chunk, it's up to whatever your heart desires. Then for health, and I guess for the wrap portion of it, we're gonna do some lettuce. If you're wondering why I didn't put the avocado on top of the lettuce, they just slide and it just kind of like well, it just kind of like spills out. So this way it makes it easier to eat. So we're gonna put two pieces of romaine, then we can take our tuna mixture just before serving, kind of like to scoop from the bottom just to make sure everything is super saucy. And see what I meant how this one can of tuna can really, really stretch? Now, little pro tip, you guys know in every video, I give you guys tips. If you wanted to stretch your tuna a little bit more, let's say you're making this for a dinner portion or just for a bigger family, use a can of chickpeas. So drain them and either you can smash them or throw them in whole in here with no extra seasoning needed really. It, I'm telling you, I've done it before when I was trying to be on my health journey, which I'm still on. 
I used that as kind of like extra protein and it just helped the food stretch more. And I mean, isn't that what we're all wanting right now? Mm, I'm excited. You know, the part that sucks is the thumbnail for this probably is not gonna look that great because it just doesn't look that pretty, but it tastes bomb. Okay, maybe a little bit more. All right, we're ready.